NASA concerned about this supernova. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took one image from a distant supernova explosion at three separate times. The universe was less than one-fifth as old as it is now, 11 billion years ago, or 13.8 billion years ago, when the star exploded. This is the first deep examination of a supernova at such an early age of the cosmos. The study may help our understanding of how stars and galaxies emerge in the earlier universe. Also, the photos of supernova are unique as they depict the explosion of a star in its infancy. Keep watching this video for more details. Chen's report. Wenlei Chen, who is the paper's first author and also a researcher in the University of Minnesota School of Physics and Astronomy, mentioned that it is very unusual for a supernova to be observed at a young stage because that stage is so brief. He said, and I quote, it only lasts for a few hours to a few days, and even a nearby detector can easily miss it. We can witness a series of photos in the same exposure, similar to the many faces of a supernova. The gravitational lensing phenomena made this feasible, initially seen in Einstein's general theory of relativity. The giant galaxy cluster Abel 370 was the cosmic lens, distorting and also intensifying light from the farther off supernova situated behind the galaxy cluster. Additionally, all the photos of the explosion that were captured at various time frames and all arriving at Earth simultaneously were combined into a single Hubble image due to warping. Only because of variances in the length of pathways, the supernova light took as well as the curvature of space and the slowing of time caused by gravity were the magnified images able to travel through the cluster in different ways. The fading supernova's quick color change, which implies a change in temperature, was also captured by the Hubble exposure. The supernova is hotter and therefore seems bluer. The first phase to be recorded looks blue, but the supernova's light became more crimson as it cooled. Patrick Kelly's take on this. According to Patrick Kelly, study leader at the University of Minnesota's School of Physics and Astronomy, you notice various hues in the three separate photographs. You have the big star, the core collapses, creating a shock, heating it up and cooling it over a week. One of the most incredible sights I've ever seen, in my opinion. The size of a dying star in the early cosmos has now been measured for the first time by astronomers, based on the brightness and cooling rate of the supernova, which both depend on the progenitor star size, this was concluded. The red supergiant, whose supernova explosion the astronomers found, was nearly 500 times bigger than the Sun, according to Hubble measurements. This supernova was discovered by Chen, Kelly, and a global group of astronomers who searched the Hubble data archives for transient occurrences. Chen used machine learning techniques to discover these events, but just a single transient was found. Kelly and Chen both have time set out to study even farther away supernovae using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to aid scientists in determining if the stars that were billions of years ago are distinct from those in the immediate cosmos, they want to contribute to a catalog of extremely distant supernovae. On November 10th, Nature released the team's publication, Shock Cooling of a Red Supergiant Supernova at Redshift 3 in Lensed Pictures. The Hubble Space Telescope Project. NASA and ESA collaborated internationally on the Hubble Space Telescope Project. The telescope is run by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. Hubble Science Operations are performed by the Space Telescope Science Institute, STCCL, in Baltimore. The Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, based in Washington, D.C., uses STSCL for NASA. So, what exactly is a supernova? A supernova is a star's tremendous and brilliant explosion. This is referred to as a supernova or a supernovae, as is abbreviated as SN or SNE. This fleeting astronomical occurrence takes place either when a white dwarf is set off into uncontrolled nuclear fusion or during the latter phases of the development of a big star. The progenitor, or original object, either completely disintegrates or falls into a black hole or neutron star. Before fading over the course of several weeks or months, the peak optical luminosity of a supernova can be similar to that of an entire galaxy. Compared to novae, supernovae are more energetic. Nova, which means new, in Latin refers to what appears to be a transitory new bright star in astronomy. Supernovae are different from regular novae, which are far less bright, by the prefix super. Fritz Zwicky and Walter Bade 
first used the term supernova in 1929. Kepler's supernova in 1604, which appeared shortly after the similarly visible to the naked eye SN 1572, was the last supernova to be directly witnessed in the Milky Way. However, more recent supernova remnants have been discovered. According to observations of supernovae in other galaxies, the Milky Way experiences them on average three times per century. Modern astronomical instruments would probably certainly be able to observe these supernovae. The most recent supernova visible to the human eye was SN1987A, which was caused by the explosion of a supergiant star in the Milky Way satellite, known as the Large Magellanic Cloud. According to theoretical studies, the main causes of supernovae are the abrupt reignition of nuclear fusion in a dying star, like a white dwarf, or the sudden gravitational collapse of a big star's core. The star is totally destroyed in the first class of occurrences, where the object's temperature is elevated enough to start runaway nuclear fusion. Possible causes include a star merger or the accretion of matter from a binary companion. When a big star's core is unable to generate enough energy through fusion to overcome the star's own gravity, a catastrophic collapse of the star may occur. The astrophysical mechanics are well established and widely accepted by the astronomical community despite the fact that some witnessed supernovae are more complex than these two simple hypotheses. At speeds up to several percent of the speed of light, supernovae are capable of ejecting material the size of several solar masses. As a result, the interstellar medium around the planet is driven by an expanding shockwave that sweeps up an expanding shell of gas and dust that is detected as a supernova remnant. From oxygen to rubidium, supernovae constitute a significant source of elements in the interstellar medium. New stars can develop as a result of supernovae's expanding shockwaves. Cosmic rays are mostly produced by supernovae. Although gravitational waves have only been discovered so far from the mergers of black holes and neutron stars, supernovae may still produce them. The invention of the astronomical telescope made it feasible to observe and discover supernovae that were fainter and farther away. The Andromeda Galaxy's SN1885A was the subject of the first such observation. Ten years later, NGC 5253 hosted the discovery of SN1895B, a second supernova. The 1920s saw the beginning of what was initially thought to be merely a new type of novae. These were referred to as giant novae, upper-class novae, or hauptnovae. It is believed that Zwicky and Walter Bade first used the word supernovae in lectures at Caltech in 1931. Newt Lundmark used it as supernovae in a journal paper that was published in 1933, and Bade and Zwicky used it in a study that was published in 1934. The hyphen had been dropped in 1938, and the contemporary name was in use. Beginning in 1941, American astronomers Fritz Zwicky and Rudolf Minkowski created the present supernova categorization system. Astronomers discovered in the 1960s that supernovae's maximum intensities might be employed as standard candles, and consequently, as gauges of cosmic distances. The brightness of some of the furthest supernovae detected in 2003 was less intense than anticipated. This bolsters the idea that the universe's expansion is speeding up. Methods for reconstructing supernovae events without documented accounts of observation have been devised. Cassiopeia's birth date. The age of the supernova remnant RxJ0852.04622 was inferred from the measurements of the temperature and the gamma ray emitted from the radioactive decay of titanium-44, whereas a supernova event was identified by light echoes from nebulae. From a distance of 3.82 gigalight years, ASA SSN 15LH is the brightest supernova ever seen. It was firstly discovered in 2015 and peaked at 570 billion L, which doubles the brightness of any other known supernova in terms of biometric luminosity. The nature of this explosion is still up for question, and a number of competing theories, such as black holes' tidal disruption of a star, have been advanced. SN 2013FS, which was recorded a few hours after the supernova event on October 6, 2013, by the Intermediate Palomar Transient Factory, is one of the earliest detected since detonation time, and for which the earliest spectra have been collected, starting at six hours after the actual explosion, IPTF. The star lies 160 million light years away in the Pegasus constellation in a spiral galaxy known as NGC 7610.